Hi, my name is Nick LeWarren, and I am the Director of Worship and Administration at the River Community Church. Uh, some of my favorite hobbies, I love playing sports, particularly baseball and tennis. I love racquetball. I love ping pong, basically anything that requires hand-eye coordination and uh, a paddle or some um, hitting device that is in your hand. Um, I also love to study scripture, read read scripture as we're all called to as, as believers in Christ. I also um, love playing frisbee. That's a favorite thing of mine to do and also love to hang out with family and friends. I was actually not born in Iowa. I was born in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma uh, for the first eight years of my life. And then I moved up with my family to Iowa because most of my family is from Iowa. So we wanted to be closer to all of my relatives. And so I lived in Marshalltown, Iowa, um, the majority of my life past eight years old. And I moved to Iowa City about two and a half years ago. So. So I've lived and grew up in a Christian home and a Christian family. So I've always known Jesus and who he is and has have always been taught that, that he um, was born of a Virgin Mary, that he died on the cross for our sins and paid for all of our sins of the world, uh, past, present, and future. Uh, but I really didn't believe that in my heart and uh, didn't make faith in Christ my own until about eighth or ninth grade. And uh, there was just a very special moment that I particularly remember um, at the First Baptist Church back in Marshalltown that uh, I was in a church service and uh, my parents encouraged me many times to uh, go up to what you know many Baptist churches have called an altar call. But I never went up and I was just didn't interest me until uh, I remember one day that God specifically spoke to me and came to me and overwhelmed me with his holy and, and wonderful presence and personally invited me to follow Christ. And I knew that day that it was indeed God because it wasn't anything else that I had felt before. Uh, God truly bringing me into his um, holy heavenly family um, as a Christ believer and I chose to follow Jesus starting that day so getting into specifically my ministry which is worship ministry has been a long time coming and honestly a, a destination that I did not expect. I grew up serving in worship teams and different churches through high school, through college, at, at the University of Northern Iowa, but I never thought that I would be working in worship ministry, but I've always had a passion for it. Um, as many other people can probably say that same thing, be passionate for it, but not necessarily work in it. And so after college, I decided to serve in uh, my home worship team and uh, a little bit after that was when I felt the God. I felt God uh, convicting me to go into worship ministry because um, I got my music teaching degree, but I felt that God had a different um, direction and, and calling for me. And so I um, years ago started applying for jobs, and I was just really trying to be patient and um, abide in what God had for me and whatever doors that He would open for me and it's hard to follow God's plan when you want your plan to work so much uh, but often it doesn't and at the end of the day um, God calls us to follow his will and if we do that then everything will fall into place and that's exactly what happened to me and uh, I 
know that if it hadn't been for past working experiences in uh, in the secretary field uh, that I totally did not plan for, I would not be doing what I'm doing today, which is not only working in worship ministry, but also being a church secretary at the same time. So I regard both of those realms, working um, in worship ministry and administration, both in the same role, an uh, absolute gift and one that I never want to take for granted. So this question is actually twofold for me, why I love working in worship ministry and administration, and also why I love working at this first ministry job at the River Community Church. So my first uh, answer is I love working in worship ministry because it brings people to a place, um, whatever they're going through, however they're serving in their community and in their church, to center in on their worship life and to s focus in on um, just having their life be in a natural outflow of how they love God, how they came to know God, how they know who God is according to Scripture. And worship is and always should be um, a natural outflow and um, only a response, really, to how God first loves us, how God first is to us, because He was, is, and always will be, and we are a part of that story. So worship, in my mind, is always going to be us responding to the eterna eternity of God and having our heart expand and having our f focus and our vision as the object of our faith, which is Jesus, expand. And so if we uh, focus more on him, then our worship will, obviously. And all those things, that is why, that is why I love worship ministry and bringing volunteers and, and, and having them grow in their worship um, journey and getting to know them through their uh, faith journey and um, just really being a, just really fostering um, directly into the faith life of the people that are here at the River Community Church. And also why I love administration, that's just like a bonus. I love how church flows. I love um, what it takes to to uh, be organized and, and, and just the whole uh, web of how church functions um, analytically and organization wise. So all those things, I love doing it together. Well, I'd be glad to say now that we have a new men's ministry leader, which is one of my good friends, Kyle Fuston. Him and his wife, Holly, just recently moved to Iowa City about a year and a half to two years ago. And they are a wonderful young married couple. And Kyle is a great guy, a great man of God. And I'm so glad that he's now leading the men's ministry here at the River Church in this new chapter uh, for the church. And what I love about men's ministry and, and, and I'm excited about is that we get outside of these church walls and we do uh, social activities together. We just get out in the community and we just are around other people. And um, when we have the opportunity to witness about Christ to people that are in the community, all glory to God for that. And um, on top of that, we're uh, hopefully soon going to be starting up a men's Bible study and a small group so that the men's ministry can really focus um, and be more of a tight-knit uh, ministry than we already are um, from the relationships that we have built bef um, going into that study. And I already know that Bible study and small groups um, are so crucial to the advancement and the growth of a church, whatever church it may be. So I'm excited for what the men's ministry is already doing right now and what it will be doing in the future. So one big uh, 
event and upcoming um, day that's coming this year in 2019 that I'm going to be married um, in September to my lovely fiance, Lauren Krauske. And we met about a year and a half ago and we dated for nine months and uh, then I proposed to her. I was going to say hope and pray to pro- propose to her and hoping that she would say yes, but I was very confident that she would, and I'm so thankful that she said yes. And um, so that is coming up, and I'm we're in the process of preparing for everything that a wedding and a reception takes. So we're in the midst of that, but I'm so excited to uh, marry the love of my life, Lauren. And I'm also uh, finishing up uh, my master's degree in seminary, and so that has been challenging me in more ways than I can count. Uh, more as a, both as a as a minister for a church, but also as a Christian, uh, just expanding my horizons and my faith, and and helping me to connect with uh, other believers and um, getting me out of my comfort zone for what it looks like to be a church leader, and uh, to also directly apply that to discipling and leading my volunteers in the worship ministry. So I studied, starting in 2010, at the University of Northern Iowa with a music education degree, and then four years later, I graduated with a bachelor's in music education, and I'm very proud to finish that degree. It's a very rigorous program, and arguably, in my opinion, UNI is one of the best music schools in the Midwest, if not the U.S., Um, it just teaches you many different wonderful classes in the music program and had wonderful experiences there. Uh, and now, um, fast forward three years later, um, after I finished my bachelor degree, I just started my seminary degree at the Indiana Wesleyan University. I'm doing an online degree and uh, got about um, a, another half year to a year to, to finish that. And I look forward to uh, finishing that program. It's very rigorous, but again, it's, it's what I know that will challenge me and what will help me to uh, be an uh, even greater church leader for what is to come. And um... So the one thing that I always hope for people to leave with is the feeling and the conviction that uh, not only first are we loving God with our heart, soul, mind, and strength, but that we are following the second commandment too, second commandment too, which is love one another as ourselves. We are the body of Christ at the River Community Church and the global church too, but specifically this church, we want everyone to leave knowing that we care for them, we want to get to know them, and we want to not make their first and only visit be just that. We want to um, follow up with them and, and know that um, that they care just as much as everybody else that enters our doors. <laughs>